And today's devotional can be found in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 27. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is as a burning fire. Okay. There are godly men and ungodly men. Godly men love and respect God, whatever God they believe in. They strive to uphold righteousness and to do well with every day that they are given on this earth. Ungodly men do not believe in the power or the existence of the Lord. They seek to not only prove that the Lord is a fallacy, but to also destroy those who believe in the Lord. And they fall prey to the ministrations of Satan that they are doing the right thing by seeking to destroy God for God. It's nothing to Satan. And Satan is nothing to God. But the ungodly man is so set on destroying the Lord that he does not understand or has closed himself off to the knowledge that he was created by the Lord. All things were created by the Lord. And so in ignorance, whether it be willful or true ignorance, the ungodly man diggeth up evil and strive to perform evil of it. They might be able to utilize the spirit of Satan to bring forth fire from their lips in an attempt to destroy the Lord and those who follow him. Or try and dissuade people from coming unto the Lord. This will not work. It is not practical for the Lord. will have the upper hand. He will have the victory. Those who are ungodly can repent. It is a low, long process. But repentance can be offered. And taken and used. And embraced by those who wish it. The Lord's not going to force the opportunity to repent and the atonement on people who do not wish to use it. For then he would be ungodly, because only an ungodly God would force people to abandon their agency and do what is not in their heart. God is a godly God. He respects people's agency and allows them to do what they feel comfortable with and what is in their heart, rather than force people back because he is such a godly God that he would rather see all of his children happy than have them all back with him. And not everyone is going to come back to him. And he knows this. Some will become so ungodly that they cannot. And they will have wasted all their opportunities. You see, the fire that comes from the lips of the ungodly is given by Satan. That the ungodly may remain so and try and bring great destruction against those who strive to follow the Lord through their words. Words can hurt. Choices can kill. Ungodliness will never be happiness. Ungodliness is rebelling against the Lord. And trying to lower the Lord to inappropriate behavior that he would never justify as being right. We can do better than being ungodly. We can become as gods. Thanks to the atonement. And we shouldn't be afraid to. What's so wrong with becoming as gods? I mean, we're not there yet. We've got a lot of work to do. But if we use our agency wisely, the Lord will help us. But it's our choice. And because of the atonement, we don't have to remain in our sins. We can let them go and rise above them. Isn't that great? And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.